I am 24 years old. I have been using a computer since I was 5. In that time, a single head switch has always been the best input method. Head and eye tracking system struggled with my movements. I didn't have the motor skills to use a joystick. The switch was the only way. <laughs> Mac OS 10.15.4 introduced a new accessibility feature called Head Pointer. This uses the Mac's built-in camera to track your head and move the pointer. This is how you set it up. In System Preferences, go to Accessibility. Pointer Control. Alternative Control Methods. In addition to mouse keys, there are two new features called Alternative Pointer Actions and Head Pointer. These two features work hand in hand, but enable Head Pointer first. In default, the pointer will always move with your head, no matter where it is. This is a bit like how traditional head tracking technology works. In my case, this doesn't work, because of all my movements. Under Head Pointer Options, I like to change the mouse to when facing screen edges. In this mode, Head Tracking watches the orientation of your head and works more like a joystick. I can tilt my head up, down, left or right, or any combination of these to move the pointer where I want it. Head pointer doesn't care if I have my face straight or I can't keep it perfectly still. It just cares about orientation. Under options, you can adjust speed and the movement required before the pointer moves. This helps with filtering out unwanted movements. Now that we can move the pointer, we need to be able to perform actions. Go to the Options button next to Alternative Pointer Actions and then click the plus button to add an action. You can either add a physical switch like the one on my headrest or facial expression. You can choose smile, open mouth, raise eyebrows or stick out tongue. I use all of these with left click, right click, double click and drag and drop. However, because the left click action is so repetitive, I also like to add the physical switch as another option. Now we need to configure head pointer, so it's easy to turn on and off, instead of doing it in system preferences. The first option is to add it to, accessibility shortcut. In system preferences, go to accessibility, then shortcut, and tick head pointer and, if you want, alternative pointer actions. For accessibility keyboard, or switch control, there is a far quicker way. You can add a toggle button to your panels. Open Panel Editor from the Accessibility Keyboard or Switch Control Pane in System Preferences. If you don't already have a panel, you can add one by clicking Add Panel and choosing one. Then click Add Button. In the inspector, choose System Event from the Actions menu.
choose from, toggle head pointer, toggle alternative pointer actions or both. If needed, set a button image. Then set your panels, show as setting. Finally, save your work, and your new button should appear in your panel. Simply activate it, to turn head pointer on or off. If you go to System Preferences, Accessibility, Display, you can do things like, increase contrast and adjust the cursor to make it easier to see. Another really cool thing is if you go to the Speech pane, you can turn on Speak Items under Pointer. If you set this to Always, any item you hover over with the pointer will be spoken. Always, pop up button. Speak items under the pointer. Tick, tick box. Head, minimized window, dock item. Head pointer allows me to use my computer natively for the first time. I don't need any special software or hardware. Christopher, it's past midnight. I'm tired. Stop fiddling with the bloody song. You gotta be kidding me. I die. 